Hi, everybody. Uh, Ward again here. And I just want to take a second to talk to you about some of the ways um, that you search the library um, that you might want to be aware of. Now, you'll see that there are other videos on the other tabs in the study guide on um, how to use keywords and uh, how useful they can be and how to develop keyword strategies. You'll also see uh, another information on basically how to parse a book, how to look at a book and understand the parts of the book and uh, evaluate it for your research as well as scholarly articles. But the search interface is also important. And if you remember from my uh, lecture, or if you come up to it in a minute, uh, about the four tips, one of them is to pay attention to the user interface. And all these user interfaces are pretty much similar because they're onto the same tasks, right? Like for instance, uh, looking for uh, articles or looking for uh, managing research, managing articles and books and movies and things that you found. So um, let's take a look at it. Let's go to the library first. We're gonna go to academics, scroll down, and go to the library. And then we're gonna search the library. There are many ways to do that, but this button search the library works. You could also type your search in here. Let's just go click here to see what the interface looks like. Now you'll notice that um, there's a lot of things, a couple of things going on here. You have a search box, you have some commands up here. You can go back to our list of databases. You can look at our research guides. You can do an advanced search where, you know, if you know the title of a book, for instance, you can say, I want books, you know, with this title or by the, a particular author or things like that. So those things are possible, or you can just use a simple search. And I like to use a simple search, and I like to basically introduce uh, things that you get in the advanced search um, by hand. So for instance, the word and, or, and not, these are words that are very useful in a search. The truth is that you know, most of the time when you're searching one of these interfaces, whether it be EBSCO or some other database or this particular one that searches about 80% of our collection, you're talking to a computer and, uh, and or not, or what they call Boolean operators. And there's some things that, there are things that computers definitely understand. I'm gonna show you an example of this just to give you the idea. Let's ask for information about dogs and cats. Now, um, it asks, notice it types ahead and it looks, you know, what's available and it tries to suggest things in a very basic way. And on the left hand side, you see that uh, you have different kinds of resources, online resources, books and videos that you pick up and take out of the library and take home with you. Um, scholarly journals, you can filter for the publication date, resource type, like book or article or film. Uh, and also subject, and we talk a lot about the subjects in uh, another video. But um, the thing I wanna do here is I search for dogs and cats, and notice that when I search for something, uh, th this term is underlined. So dogs and cats are highlighted here. Dogs and cats are highlighted there. It's all about the dogs and cats. Uh, that's the main thing. Now, um, where it changes is when you really want it to be a command because we're not looking for the word and anywhere. We're trying to use it as a command. So what you should do is uh, all caps and dogs and cats in all capital letters. And when you do that, notice something different happens. First of all, uh, uh, well, basically, and is no longer a search term. See, it's under, underlined dogs and cats, but it understood and to be a command. So it's not trying to search for that. There's some other things I wanna show you just about uh, the interface here. Let me see if I can sign in. Yeah, I'm signed in. And this is when you're able to, if you're starting a project and you want to be able to you know, collect things and then examine them later or share them with your fellow students or things like that, be sure you sign in because here's what you can do. Well, first of all, you need to read the interface and see that anytime there's a book you know, or something like that, <coughs> It's got a series of icons on the, on the right-hand side, the upper side. A quote icon allows you to cite that book or article, right? And you can choose your style, your citation style, and your assignment, it's MLA, I believe. And you can copy that, and then you can paste it into a word processor. Uh, sometimes you want to be able to manage a list of articles and have a direct link to the, the file. So a permalink is useful then. And that basically is, uh, notice it doesn't, well, it's basically a link to this particular record. So you could share that. You could email it to yourself or someone else. You could print it out. Uh, you could generate a QR code if you wanted to do that. But the basic most useful things are to generate a permalink and a citation. 
Now, notice that you also have, well, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to close out of that. So citation is one thing. The permalink is another thing. Uh, here's an interesting one. It's called favorites, right? Now, notice that the icon looks like a push pin, like the kind you would put up on a, a bulletin board or a cork board. Um, it just means it's something you pinned up because you want to keep coming back to it and not have to search for it. Um, every system that I've looked at has something like that, but the icons are different. They might be uh, a heart, right, or a folder or something like that. Some other kind of icon to symbolize the fact that you like this and you want to keep this filed away somewhere. Here, it's called favorites and it's the symbol of a push pin. So I'm gonna click on that and you may or may not see the animation, the pin goes up to the top and that's where I am. So I'm gonna go there into my favorites and I can see that actually I've been looking at a lot of books for this assignment. So uh, uh, we'll, um, come to some of those in the searches, but notice I've put them all uh, in my favorites, okay? All right, um, also, uh, you know, if you do multiple searches, uh, you know, those searches are saved. You can save those searches and then come back to them or even share them, share the results of them. Uh, and then you have your own search history uh, for the session and you can go back to it. If you found a particular thing that you like, but then you went on to other things and you got lost, you can always go back to your search history. Also, just a couple of things under your account. You can see all the books that you've loaned, uh, that you've borrowed, um, and any fines and fees that you have or anything like that. So basically, it's just a navigation panel to manage the resources that you find uh, in the system. Okay, thank you. And in our next video, we're going to basically talk about your assignment a little bit.